All right, my friends, we are doing another amazing walking tour video of Miami. And in this case, we are here in front of American Airlines Arena, which is where our world famous Miami Heat play. Uh, in the backdrop, you're gonna see what will be at some point One World Miami. And you got the Freedom Tower up there, which is that nice older style building. And uh, this is gonna be an interesting video. It's gonna be interesting in two ways, right? Because right now, you guys have probably seen or are gonna see the live stream of this video, but this is actually what I filmed prior to me getting to the ferry on Bayside. And uh, what I'm gonna do, my goal is to go to the Miami Beach. So in that process, I wanted to show you guys how to get on and go to Miami Beach. So let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on over here. You got some uh, scooter rentals. There's also bird scooters that I've seen lingering everywhere. You see that there's like a rail station over there? That is what we call our Metro Mover guys. And uh, on the Metro Mover, you can get to the Metro Rail, which can basically take you all the way up north or down south uh, in Miami. So let's go ahead and walk. Bayside is not too far from here. I've done uh, some videos of Bayside. Uh, like I've walked the docks and I've also done a really cool thriller video um, which is basically uh, the fastest tour boat that you can get on down here in Miami so you're gonna see some tour buses up coming up now you guys also have these options when you come when when the Miami Heat and visiting teams play their buses will park here along the side and uh, the fans that want to see their favorite basketball NBA basketball player will see them along here to the side. That's where they come in and out of. Now, this is going to be an interesting walking tour, guys, because it's going to be partially in the water. And we're going to go ahead and record all of that as well. Here, this area where these cars are coming out of to the port of Miami so if you see if you're following me on on Google Maps we're on US 1 and Biscayne Boulevard and Northeast 2nd uh, I'm sorry 6th Street uh, let me cross the all right so MiamiTours.com offers these oh boy I almost killed myself Yep. Kind of a small little hole on the side of the road. Here's the sign. This is the port. Now, years ago, uh, Miami Dade had done off of the MacArthur Causeway a video. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, wait a second. Let me go ahead and see if this guy's leaving. I think he is. All right, uh, there's a tunnel that'll take you to 95, right? So we have MacArthur Causeway that the tunnel goes under the actual water and uh, gets you to the Port of Miami, which is here. The problem that they were having is most of the trucks were coming out of here to pick up containers. And if you see, you know, it, it, it gets kind of busy and it's slow. So they made the tunnel so it goes directly to the expressways so they don't even have to do that. They still have the option to do that, but uh, here we are getting into Bayside. Now, if you want to come to Bayside Marketplace, this is a cool place to come to as well. And I know some of you guys have been watching my walking tour, especially the Spring Break series. And I do want to let you know that, look, um, all the craziness that you guys are seeing on the news, all that is temporary. It's happening now. It's unfortunate. 
But, uh, you know, Miami's Miami. It's a big city. So we're walking right now on, on Biscayne Boulevard. And if you see here, there's lots of construction going up right now, March 2021. more scooters that you can rent out. It looks like the city has done designated parking areas for you guys to leave them here. So the idea of these scooters, for those of you guys that don't know or maybe haven't seen them, we have Uber and Lyft, which are, you know, ride sharing apps. You basically press a button on your phone. Some man or woman picks you up and takes you to your location. Um, one of the challenges with uh, public transportation is that you try to do the same thing on a bus, but it doesn't get you as close to where you're trying to get, and uh, you have to walk the last, you know, couple blocks, maybe half a mile or a mile. And these scooters have actually filled that gap. So, say somebody goes and gets off, dropped off on a bus right here, they can grab on one of these scooters and maybe go half a mile into the city where the bus doesn't go in and out of so that's the idea here is bayside oh boy so now when we walk bayside bayside is probably the most visited uh, location in all of Miami and the reason why is because it's a good place to shop right so it's it's very close to the port a lot of people that visit uh, are visiting from the actual cruise lines will come here one of the ways that you know that you're at Bayside is these huge flags they've always been here so Jamie Foxx. Hold your guys, see if you're all through guys. Come on, 12 o'clock, you part your time. Come on. So, like I was telling you guys, when I did the walking tour video of uh, the docks here, I also went and I did a video on the Thriller. We might see the Thriller. Right now, I'm actually looking for the taxi, uh, the ferry that will get, get us from here Two, I love this tree, guys. This is amazing. Get us from the ferry to Miami Beach, and then that's gonna kind of get us to where we want to go, which is South Beach. But I do, I do want to tell you guys that you have some options. Let's see how much time I have. I got about 10 minutes to get to where I'm trying to go. So. See, all along here we have some restaurants and bars and a lot of shops. And here on this side, you have a lot of small stores and stuff that you guys can buy a bunch of stuff. Especially if you want to bring stuff back, it's a great place to come, very safe. So, I think some of the people here are going on the ferry. Let's see if this one is going to, yeah, so. So here are some of the ferries, guys. Uh, this is kind of like an excursion that'll take you to a bunch of uh, homes, right? So you get to see Star Island and all the cool stuff. What we're going to do is we're not going to get on the Queen. We're, uh, we're gonna get on a taxi, and in the backdrop over there, you see that yellow and uh, green boat? That's the Thriller and the Hurricane. I actually did the video I did was on the Hurricane. So, let me find a ferry that I'm trying to go on because I wanna go to the beach. And now you guys know exactly what I was doing prior to the, the video going live. Ah, Biscayne, 
I hope it's not on the other side. If it is, that's going to be an epic error. But you know what? I did a, a video of this as well. Um, so here's the uh, Miss Miami, owned and operated by a local uh, fishing uh, legend, Captain Jimmy. Oh wow, if you guys don't, uh, if we don't get, I think, is it this one here? Uh, hope it is. We're gonna see, guys. We're gonna see which one will take us. We're, we're going to South Beach. We wanna go to South Beach, my friends. I think it might be this one. Is this it? Is this the ferry that goes to the beach? No. Where's the one that goes to, to, to Miami Beach Marina? I mean like a water taxi? It's a, like a water taxi, yeah. yeah. It's located on the other side by Mambo's Cafe. By Mambo's? Yeah. Where do you guys where do you where do you guys go? Okay guys, so these guys do the, the sightseeing tours for the rich and famous. Kind of similar to what the Island Queen does. So, you can do that same tour on the Thriller and multiple uh, tour boats here. So we gotta go to the other side. I, I guess you guys are gonna see uh, all this cool cool boat now these these boats are also available for charter so there's a uh, fishing boats here so we're gonna go all the way to the other side we'll see the thriller as well and then we'll get to the world famous South Beach it's been kind of wild lately guys South Beach has been in the news as of this video I think they said there's 1,000 arrests. There's a state of emergency and a 8 p.m. curfew because they just couldn't handle the spring breakers that were here. And mind you guys, it's, it's not everybody. It's, it's maybe 1% of everybody who's visiting Florida. And it's unfortunate because, you know, one of the reasons I started doing all these videos showing people about Miami is because we depend on the hospitality industry so much over here. And uh, now that they shut those places down again, that's gonna be a huge problem for a lot of people. These guys take some pictures of you while you're coming in. So when you're here, you got a couple bars that you wanna get a nice little daiquiri, cold drink. Uh, and some people are getting on the uh, thriller. I hope I don't miss the, the boat. Here's a good thing, right? If I do, it doesn't matter. If I do, it does not matter. So, let's go. There's another bar over here. You guys want to get some drinks? Now up here, if we were to walk in inside, there is an actual uh, food court here. There's, a, there's plenty of restaurants here in Bayside, guys. All right, so this is the video <laughs> that I want you guys to see. So if you guys want to see the tour, and I did the last tour on Sunset, the Sunset tour. There's another bar, see that? So, we're walking and talking, guys. Here is the world's famous hurricane and the thriller. Let's get out of here, because I don't want to have music in my audio. The last thing I want is to get my video demonetized. But, this is it. Now, I did a video on the hurricane. So, if you want to see that sunset uh, video, it's a cool video to watch. 
You got a nice pizza here, good little pizza over here. Now there's also a huge Ferris wheel here in, uh, in Bayside. So what is this? Holistic Wellness. Oh, I think this is the water taxi that we're trying to get to, guys. This goes to Miami Beach. Yes. Yes. This is it. Is it a 12 -er? Where can I buy my ticket? Sorry? Can I buy it online? Yeah. Or, or, okay, great. Guys, I'm going to pause. I'm getting on this water taxi right now. So give me a minute. All right, guys. So... Here's what's gonna happen. And once you guys start seeing this part of the video, you're also gonna see that I go live. So, but the reason I'm going live is because I want people to know what's going on, when it's going on, so they can see for themselves what's going on over here in Miami. And, and this is kind of like the view that you guys are gonna get. So I got here, uh, Captain George, over here he's the captain of the water taxi today he says that it's very scenic as well so keep that in mind so we will be passing like uh, star island hibiscus island and all that good stuff so like i said if you wanted to check out the thriller you guys it's a fun it's, it's a very fast boat a different ride okay. a different feel welcome over to miami water taxi my name is maya and the captain today is yours so before we leave we're gonna do some quick safety at mountain this vessel is a U.S. Coast Guard certified, and under the seat we have 38 life jackets. Right. Today we're not planning to use it, so please, no diving, no swimming. That's the entrance, guys. That's the entrance where also, we come in. Also, we have beautiful sails, water for two, and white flag for five. Also, we hope that you enjoy the ride. Thank you. All right, guys. So, we are on... We are off, guys. And right now, as we're leaving Bayside, well, first of all, welcome to the stream, guys. My name is Alfred Montaner, and I am leaving Bayside Marketplace right here in downtown Miami. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you guys that there's alternative routes that you guys can do when you come to Miami to get to South Beach. And, uh, <laughs> I don't expect this to be one of my crazy rides, guys, like uh, typically you guys see on my channel. But uh, some of you guys have seen the pilot boat that goes and picks up all the cargo ships uh, when I've been filming at South Point Park. Look at this. guys so some of you guys were watching the video stream earlier and um, what what they're really enforcing there's three of us on the boat guys and but they're making it a priority to have your mask on so uh, obviously there's a lot of pressure that's going on because of what is going on nationally uh, Miami is in the forefront of all the news channels and um, the reality is is that there's a lot of people that are not wearing their mask when they're out and about. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here on the left side of the vessel you're going to see the triple A around buildings, why around buildings, because the triple A American Airlines are reaching out to the Honda of the NBA team. So when you guys wanted to see the uh, AAA over there, 
that was the American Airlines Arena that we just passed through. And uh, now, you guys remember when we were doing the video and I said, come. That's the port over there. And here is the MacArthur Causeway. That's the MacArthur Bridge. Well, you guys know when you see all those boats coming out from uh, uh, the Miami River and, and going towards Hallover, in the direction I'm going, guys, is through the Intercoastal. If we go all down all these bridges, eventually we'll go to Hallover. But yeah, things are de definitely going to get a lot more strict if they're stopping people out on the open uh, water, making sure that they wear masks. So keep that in mind if you do guys come to visit. Okay, you see this bridge here? This is another access point to South Beach and it's called the Venetian Causeway. When, they, um, when you want to go to Wynwood, which is back that way, you see where those buildings are? Behind those buildings is an area called Wynwood, and uh, that is uh, the Venetian Causeway. So don't be surprised if you grab an Uber, so say from the middle of Collins or maybe 15th or 16th in Collins, they'll go through the backside, which is the um, Venetian. It'll be a cheaper trip, and uh, it's, it's not as long as the MacArthur Causeway. Now, remember I told you there's a tunnel up ahead uh, on the Venetian, I'm sorry, on the MacArthur, and that tunnel leads to the Port of Miami. Okay, coming up on the right side of the bridge, we have the one Italian, and we have the Indian restaurant, it's called Borgia Beach, it's a Mediterranean restaurant. Okay, that is a restaurant on the water, and also back here, you have Jungle Island. And Jungle Island is kind of a place where you can come with kids. It used to be known as Parrot Island. Uh, and now it's expanded. The city of Miami also did uh, an agreement with the owners and they are gonna allow them to put a, a huge resort on, uh, on this property. So uh, that's gonna be coming in the future as well. Over here to my right, we're gonna have the Miami Outboard Club and we also have a boat ramp that would be one of the boat ramps that people use, mostly jet skiers, uh, a little bit towards my right. Now when you're on the Thriller, you will not see this, this route. There you go. She's talking about the Miami Yacht Club now. So remember, this is a taxi, guys. It's, it's uh, much faster, but at the same time, they'll let you do that. Now the boat ramps that I was talking about are a little bit up ahead to your right, over there. And recently, there was a car that went under so, Look at all these homes. I'm 
Now, if you look in the backdrop, that's where we were. And uh, now we're going to get to uh, Hibiscus and Star Island, which is a little bit over here uh, on this area. And uh, that Queen Island and those other tour companies are the ones that will take you and give you like a, a narrated tour of who lives there and what, what are famous people. The Venetian over here, you see how it continues over there, guys? It's, it goes through. And that will eventually go towards, I think it's very close line, to, to about 17th or 18th uh, Street in, uh, in Miami Beach addresses. So if you've been watching my walking tours, you know that you start at 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up. So very nice places. I'm going to zoom in on, on some of these places a little bit so you guys can see what we got going on over here while you guys are doing your travels. Honestly, for me, this is perfect. And I'll tell you, um, to where we're going, the cost was $40 for me to, to get in on here. So $40 to get in, an Uber drive, probably from South Beach to where we were is about maybe $18 to $20. So I think uh, because you get to experience the water and still go to where you want to go, is a, a good uh, alternative. You know, maybe you don't have to get the taxi both times. Maybe you can get it well, one way and then come back in an Uber and save yourself maybe half price. But uh, it is an option and it is an alternative. So it is open. That's one of the reasons I don't mind being on here. But as you see in this video, guys, they're enforcing the mask wearing so that we don't have another spike in uh, COVID uh, uh, over here in South Florida. Very, very pretty though. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, now here on the left side of the river, you're going to see that small boat by the road. And then now, this one belongs to the Mexican teacher, Paulina Rubio. Paulina Rubio's uh, boat over there. That's what she just said. And I see some center consoles that are looking uh, nice. Now here's another tour, but uh, this looks a little bit busier. It's, uh, I, I guess, like a private charter. It looks like people are having drinks, having a good time. So check them out. It's called the, the Social Miami Kiki Charters. Yeah, they got some music there. They're having a good time. Let me show you guys some of these prime property over here. Um, okay, now, on the right side of the desert, you're going to see a white yacht. This is Floyd Mayweather's house right here, guys. And that's his yacht. Wow. Beautiful home, guys. Beautiful home. Mr. Money Mayweather over here. Now, you see over there the hurricane? That's uh, Monument Island, so it's there, and here is the hurricane. Celia Cruz's house. Uh, she's now she, she's no longer with us. That's Ricky Martin's house right here, the white one. Very nice. Now, here is the Thriller. So the Thriller does the same thing, but they don't come to these islands that we just saw. Viagra guys. 
This is the biggest house in Star Island, $58 million. Now you see how you'll do this tour now with the hurricane, it's a lot faster because you go different routes and they take you to the open ocean. So it's a whole different vibe. Um, and that is one of the boats that you can take while we leave. Only 42 million, guys. The Lennar uh, owner, probably the CEO and chairman of Lennar. Now, okay, listen up guys, because now it's all gonna make sense. And this is the reason why I'm doing this video. So when I started a walking tour the other day, I did it on the MacArthur. And I want to tie that video into this one. Shaquille O'Neal's old boat. Nice, nice. Okay, now we have a right angle to the big window. This one here to the long side. J-Lo. J-Lo's house over here. Uh-oh. J-Lo's house. All right. Uh, back to what I was saying. I know she's going to keep on talking, guys, but I want to tell you guys. So I began that video and that walking tour on the bridge. And I did that purposely so you guys can see exactly where everything goes and leads to. guys here's where we are going and we're gonna do the walking tour a little different to this time because I do want to give you guys some options so when you come over here you exactly know what you can do when you can do it and how you can do it oh boy look what's coming through here now what, look at this monster, guys. We got a monster coming through. What is this? Oh my God, what is this? We're gonna see it now. Ah, we missed it. We got, we got shot killed. All right, it happens. But, Miami Beach, Marina, and that's going to be our destination to go walk where we were the other day. That's where we were filming, guys. We started filming from there. Look at this yacht, wow. Look at this monster, bro. That is incredible. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. All right, we're 
I'm gonna open up the focal length a little bit again, guys, so I can get the, the entire perspective here. All right, so it's all making sense now, isn't it? So this is round trip? If, if you want, you can stay in the boat and we continue. Okay, but for the price, it's boat, it's round trip? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was only one, oh, one way. Wow. Well, I, you come here, okay. You get to spend an hour here. Okay. And then you get to go back. So you have a, an hour. Oh man, that's, that just made everything so much better for me. Yeah. So I got an hour and I'm gonna go back right to where I was. I thought I was gonna have to spend 40 each way. That's great. All right, guys, that's awesome news. Yeah. For me, at least. I just paid 40 bucks to make this video. So, not anymore. I thought I was gonna have to spend 80. But uh, there we are, Miami Beach Marina. Now, while we're here, we're gonna, we're gonna do a walking tour of this area. And then you guys already put this other video together with the other one. Let me see if I talk to Captain real quick. Let me, let, let's let Captain do his job. And, Captain, real quick. So, first of all, I know it got kind of a little weird right there when the police officer had asked us, so I'll put our mask on, make sure everybody was... Uh, there's three people on the boat, and understandably right now, uh, we're all in the news and stuff like that. But I think that's incredible news that you just told me, $40, front and back, so so yeah. round trip. Right, it's a, it's a two-hour trip. You spend half an hour coming here, one hour on the beach, and half an hour going So back. how many times do you guys leave out of Bayside? about seven trips a day. Seven trips a day. Where can they go online to get more information? Uh, MiamiWaterTaxi.com. All right, guys. Well, listen, I want to thank George, Captain George. Captain, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I, I think my, my goal is to show people that they have these options. Hopefully, you guys get busier and stay safe, okay? That'd be great. Hey, I'll, awesome. see you, I'll see you in an hour. I thought see I was going to I thought I was gonna need to take an Uber, baby. Right. <laughs> it's good. Thank you so much, guys. We are here. So we, we'll be back in an hour. Thank you so much. Welcome to Miami Beach Marina, guys. So, now it's gonna all start making sense. So, wow. Um, I'm sure some of you guys were watching the live stream and they had, because I'm, I'm just a guest on, uh, on the boat and I mean, who knows what was going on? They didn't know what was going on. So, but what, what happened is the police officer wanted to make sure that the captain is enforcing the mass mandate that, uh, that they're asking people in the city to use. So, uh, and like I said, guys, a lot of that is because we're all over the news and they're seeing a bunch of people, a lot of spring breakers without masks. And, uh, you know, Miami's gonna take the fall for that. Uh, on a, on a huge level and it's unfortunate, it's unfortunate because there's a lot of people that depend on the hospitality industry and hopefully it doesn't affect those that want to come over here. Now, Miami's open guys. If you have a trip, don't, don't let this deter you from coming. There's many other things that you can do and this, this is why I'm showing you guys all these alternative things that we have to offer over here. Here's some parasailing that's gonna have be going on over here. All right, so we are here in, first of all, we're in Miami Beach already, okay? so. Now, if you come this way, and a couple things, give you guys perspective. This is Miami Beach Marina now, but this boardwalk, it actually connects all the way to, all the way to South Point Park, which we've done walking tours of, guys. So keep that in mind. And uh, you have a very popular place over here. And, uh, 
and it's called Monty's. And in one of my video walking tours, I also showed you guys Monty's Bed in Coconut Grove. So you wanted to get a perspective. You got all this going on over here. Now, Miami Beach Marina is very well known for all of its luxury boats, mega yachts. Look at this over here. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a perspective. If I walk as far as where you see maybe those cars in the very, very far back moving, that's the bridge where we did the other video and we walked straight down to Ocean Drive. But now, because most of you guys, when you stay here, stay within a five block radius, I wanna show you that there's so many more options while you're here. So. And I got about an hour. Here's the water taxi over here. In the backdrop, you see them over there. And that's where I would have to be in an hour. And I guess they would probably go take the next uh, crew of people back to Bayside and then they come back and that's when I'll jump back on. For me, that was great because technically, technically if I, if I don't wanna spend, if I don't really care to go back, I showed you guys the experience. Technically, if you guys don't want to go back, you don't have to. You can stay here and then get an Uber wherever you're at. Options. I like letting you guys know certain options so you guys can make your own decisions when you're here. So I'm, I'm, I'm really into boats. Most of you guys know that. But, uh, and then right here, we're walking and we're gonna walk. And in the direction that we're walking, it leads to government cut, which is the cut that when I was on the bridge, I told you guys that leads to the open waters. The thriller or the hurricane will sometimes, depending on how the weather is, will take you to the open ocean and, you know, do some semicircles and have fun with you guys while you guys are on that boat. Um, now this connects to South Point Park and South Point Park will get us uh, to basically First Street. So we're gonna walk and First Street is over here. Aren't you guys glad that I uh, gave you guys a perspective of what's going on? I wanted to make sure I took the live stream off, like I said, because, I'm, you know, I went on there and I told them um, that I just wanted to film. And the, the reason I wanted to film is because look at that, guys, there's three people on that boat. There's three people on that boat. And the, the reason why there's three people on the boat is because a lot of people don't even know that that option is available. So it's a, it's a good option to come and travel. I feel much more comfortable going in that water taxi than I would in an Uber because I'm in open air, you know? And the fact that they're enforcing the masks as, as, as hard as they're doing it to the point that they're making sure everybody's wearing their mask before they're getting out to the water, that says a lot. So the leadership down here is, uh, they know, nice thank you. They know they're in the limelight and uh, they want the world to know that, listen, we, we're open but we're gonna do things responsibly. All right, so we continue the walk, the talk, to think that we were a little while ago in, uh, <laughs> we were in American Airlines Arena, guys. And, and this is quick. This is me doing this video pretty quick. So the, the water taxi does seven trips a day, more or less. You know, I'm sure that fluctuates depends on, depending on demand. All right. So all you boat fanatics, you're definitely gonna enjoy this walk. 
And the fact that you guys can basically go to bounce off to the other video and see exactly what's the opposite way is perfect because, oh, wait a second, guys, I see a rib boat. All black rib boat. I think I'm in love. Now, I've done a lot of tours starting on South Point Park, which we're about to enter. And you also have these uh, condominiums that are along uh, First Street. Famous restaurants around here, guys. You got uh, Joe's Stone Crab. You got Smith & Walensky coming up a little bit. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think, uh, wow, look at that rib. Rib, uh, it means a rigid inflatable boat, guys. It's a hard bottom with tubes on the side. Look at this, dude. You got a midnight right there. Boy, oh boy. Very, very nice. All right, so welcome to South Point Park. All right, so you see how it says here? You're now leaving Miami Beach Marina. Now, boats will pass through here and they'll go through this cut, which is called Government Cut. And from Government Cut, they can go to open ocean and then they can go if they go into the direction to the right of the camera, they're going to head towards the Keys. To the left, they're going to head up north to, you know, Fort Lauderdale and all that good stuff. In the backdrop, you have Fisher Island. Fisher Island is pound for pound the most expensive zip code in all of uh, America, pound for pound. Back here, you have the city of Miami. Oh, I can't get it. There we go, maybe. You got the port. You got some boats coming out as well. Here out of Miami Beach Marina. And uh, we continue. Now here, there's usually a lot of bait in here. A lot. I see a lot of bait in here often. I wonder if there's anything in here right now. Sometimes you see local fishing guys come in here. See how from one minute to the next you can be in Miami and from Miami to the beach? And just like that, guys. Now, if I wanted to sens sensationalize this video, you know, I can stay all night and, you know, look for people that are creating a problem and then, you know, sell that to a news agency and then that's all you'll see. But you're not seeing this. The people are in South Beach, hanging out, exercising, having a good time, enjoying our beautiful weather and uh, our palm trees, coconut trees, and sunny skies. Now, I'm probably not gonna go back on the ferry, to be honest with you, because I wanna film a better perspective for you guys while I'm here. So, a lot of very nice boats coming in and out of here. It's not like a, the government cut is not like a haul over that it's really rough or anything like that. And like I said, I got whole walking tours of all this area. We got the beach up ahead. So now this beach coming over here, 
um, is where South Beach starts. It's, it'll be First Street, and uh, it used to be the most popular many, many years ago, the most popular area on the beach, when Penrods and Mickey Beach and all that stuff. And then little by little, Wet Willys and all those places that are right next to Ocean Drive, which is the Art Deco District, guys, which is so different and so unique that it just attracts many, many tourists. But, I mean, how can you compete? Look at these blue waters. Look at, look at that water, guys. That thing looks amazing. Now, if you just watch the news, just by watching the news, you're gonna be like, you're literally canceling your trip because you won't see none of this. Why? Because this doesn't get views. This really doesn't get views. This doesn't get clicked on. This doesn't get engagement, you know? These are people being normal. All right, here's one of those restaurants that I told you guys that are in the area. Very, very scenic, very nice guys. Beautiful, beautiful place to maybe have a cocktail uh, and just enjoy the scenery of South Beach, especially on a day like today. Today is a great day. It's not so, so hot. It's beautiful. Only thing I'm missing right now is a good cigar, guys. I had a nice little Rocky Patel right now. Oof, that'll, that'll make this video even better. Here is Smith & Walensky. And, like I said, right now, if you are watching the news and uh, you're watching the news, you'll probably see none of this because, like I said, this is not gonna get you guys views. See this? You got the bar here. Beautiful, huh? And you have, look at the, the skyline of Miami in the backdrop, guys. Awesome. Smith and Walensky. Known. Parking sometimes could be a challenge back there, but there is. You, you get the pay by phone app and you should be fine. I still haven't even read the comments of when I had to turn off the live stream. Oh boy. The conspiracy theorists are out and about. They took Alfred and they, they drowned him. There's no more videos by Mr. Montaner. Oh no. It's an AI bot talking behind the camera right now. No, we lost our man. The King all over. Relax guys, I've always been a bot. Wait for it. All right. Oh, I do talk a lot of shit. My dad always used to tell people that. And it stuck with me. I speak three languages. Spanish, English, and a lot of shit. There's one of those parasail boats that we just saw coming out of uh, Miami Beach Marina. Perspective. Says Alfred Montaner once again, my friends. Well, I want to give myself a pat on the back because I'm showing you stuff that you've never seen. And I probably uncanceled your cancel. So you're probably going to cancel your, your trip and you're probably freaking out. But uh, calmer, calmer heads prevail. Now, assuming there is a curfew still, because right now we're, we have an 8, 8 p.m. curfew in South Beach. South Beach, 
um, and Miami Beach is, uh, has a curfew to 8 o'clock and they're basically just trying to make sure that people from spring break that want to come over here and do dumb things are not going to come here to do it. So assuming it is, that's the case, all this is still going to happen. Everything is good, normal during the day where things have been getting wild is at night. So they're going to be uh, blocking off the day and the night uh, areas for, for instance, like to get in through the MacArthur, you're going to have to actually show proof of a hotel or um, or you have to live on the island, you know? I'm sure there's going to have to be waivers and stuff like that for employees that work or maybe alternative routes like the Venetian or whatnot, but they're going to manage it, guys. They're just trying to control the craziness. Oh, man, you guys are getting everything. You're getting even now a cargo ship coming in through... Uh, South Point Pier. Now South Point Pier is a really, really nice place that you can go ahead and see the cruise ships when they're passing. Um, and if you want to have an idea of the schedules of the, the, the cruise ships and the cargo ships coming in and out, there's a website called BB, that's B as in boy, BBPilots.com. So if you look at that website, you'll be able to see what uh, cargo ships and what ships and what, what is coming in and out of government cut going into the Port of Miami. So back that way to the left is the Port of Miami and we got a giant tugboat coming as well. So wow, this is like, it's almost like I set all this up. It's like I, I did this on purpose guys. I scheduled everybody. I said, all right, cargo, are you ready? Are you ready to come? Make sure, hold on, give me a second. The, the tugboat isn't here yet. Are the girls that are doing the selfie ready? Yes, they're ready, everybody's engaged. Let's go, Montaner, you got this. Welcome to South Point Pier. And you have also just stumbled across the world famous South Peach. Ain't that some chit? Wait a second. I don't see tires burning and craziness. What's going on? All right, guys. I'm just here to give you guys perspective. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do things unedited. I had to edit um, when I got on the on the boat, but I had literally got there on the taxi. I had literally gotten there real, real quick. So here's Seaboard Marine. And uh, actually, let me see if I can, man, I, if I would have had my zoom camera, it would have been beautiful. But I mean, this is not, not ugly either. Don't get me wrong. Seaboard. Now, if you guys want to see a really cool series that I did, guys, I did a video with tugboat captains, okay, from Hempstead Marine, and they pull one of these smaller, obviously, this one's, this one's, this one's a little big, smaller through the Miami River, and I showed how they did their job. Dude, it was such an epic, epic video. Um, I was filming the boats passing in and out of the Miami River and those guys, I was like, man, I would love to do a video showing you how you guys work and they invited me onto the tugboat. And guys, if you want to see a cool series, check out those tugboat videos. I did it with my son um, and, you know, it just, it just makes everything a little bit more, it makes just a little bit more sense now. We have the tugboat here, ready to kiss the giant uh, cargo. Are they ready? Are you ready to be married to the cargo ship? Now the pilot station that we were talking about, the, you saw where the pilot boat was parked, right? Over here where there's 
that is the pilot house pilot station over there but um, guys I know some of you guys are not interested in this but I love seeing this and I'm sure a lot of people on my channel that watch all my boat related content are gonna love this let's see what happens here is he gonna is he gonna start okay so maybe maybe he's gonna tie up on the rear dude that is one badass tugboat all right guys anybody knows anybody at the condor let me know we're gonna do a video and uh, how crazy is that let's see if he ties up so he's turning he's rounding so here's what's gonna happen now there's gonna be guys on the on the actual boat oh no is he not gonna do it is he going somewhere else no condor don't do this to me my friend I thought we was friends apparently not guys Condor's got another gig happening over there. All right, well, Seabolt towing guys over here in Miami. Um, there's a pilot on that boat right now, guys. It's not the same captain that was on there before. There's a pilot right now on that boat. Here is your world famous South Beach. Guys, I'm gonna suffer walking through the sand just because I wanna give you guys a full perspective of what's going on. All right, so you're welcome. The least you can do is smash that like button for yours truly, my friends. I'm trying to actually lose weight, so. Don't even have to smash the like. Put the dislike button. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Either way, you guys are going to hate me either way. Why do you hate me, man? I've done nothing to you, man. I'm kind of bummed that I couldn't stream this whole thing. I wanted to be streaming this live. But uh, I guess it didn't work out, right? Now, these life uh, guard houses all have numbers on it and those numbers will signify the streets that you're on so if you know you wake up in the middle of the night in a life house a lifeguard house just look at the number you're in you know it happens sometimes you overdo it and uh They got some uh, jet skis over here. This is the very first one, guys. This is the very first lifeguard house. And they got actually uh, a jet ski. That's kind of cool. Wow. I've lost so much weight already. I need suspenders. How cool is that? All right, so we can keep, keep on walking. We have South Beach here. It's a little bit under noon and I'm sorry, uh, it's about one o'clock right now. And I'm gonna show you where you can get out, assuming you wanted to get out of here. And you can walk all the way down that beach, guys, all the way to Hallover Inlet. And then it will stop. Now, I will tell you, as of this video, I have other videos that I have yet to put on my channel, but they will be on the channel. And I'll actually try to link them to this channel, to this video of 71st Street to 102nd Street, which ends up going all the way to Hallover. So if you guys want that perspective, you'll be able to see that also in the next couple of days or whenever you see this video. And when you see one of those videos, somebody had talked about a little mountain that has a good view of the beach. And this is one of them in South Beach, 
You got your city bikes that you can rent. They're all throughout the city. All right. And here's the boardwalk that'll eventually get us to where we want to go as well. So I'm going to walk through here because I do not want to walk in the sand. All right, guys, so some of you guys were asking about some of the rules when you come out here. Not permitted uh, dogs off a leash, bicycles, skateboards, inline skates, motorized modes of transportation, and all, all that stuff, guys. Here, freeze the frame, read it, um, follow everything, all right? That's it. Um, in the backdrop, we got more. Oh boy, we got a seaplane coming out. Is that a seaplane? Oh no, it's a helicopter. All right. Oh, you know, it's funny, the, the seaplane came right after it. There's a seaplane now behind me. Now, those seaplanes, I don't know if you'll be able to see it up there, guys. It's too small. But those seaplanes come out of Watson Island. Um, Gimbal Gang. What's up, Gimbal Gang? Another video creator right there. Having a nice little run over here. Now, from what I've been noticing, guys, these boardwalks are all being interconnected. So, so I, I think at one point, you're gonna be able to go through all these boardwalks all the way, maybe as far as to Hallover, which would be epic because that means that you can ride a bike uh, all through there. That's a restaurant delivering stuff to their guests on the beach. See that, guys? And that's that's the reason i've been doing these walking tour videos guys because the people like that you see how fast that guy's walking to make sure he can go ahead and give the person who just ordered their meal and drinks great service you know it's unfortunate because now whoever works a night shift after 8 p.m which are many all the cleaning crews all the i mean all the people that that basically work the night shift doing you know room service overnight and all that stuff now those people are going to be told not to come into work because you know there's an emergency order because a couple of people don't know how to act so guys i know i know it can be kind of crazy over here but man it's not worth it dude it's not it's really not worth it you see that people are going to get you in trouble 400 people got felonies guys 400 and that and this spring break is yet to be over so all right so technically we're on first street right now um if you're looking at on the map um uh, probably what's this called south south point road maybe we'll see now once we get out of here All right, and I, I'm going to try to walk and get to South Beach as well, as well, so you guys can see that during the day, it's not wild, it's not stupid, it's not crazy. Um, like I said, if, if I hung out and listened to what everybody's doing and going, I'm sure I'll find people and problems. Here's another entrance to the beach. And you'll have multiple entrances here. We're coming up on Nikki Beach. Now technically if I wanted to make a left and walk straight back to Miami Beach Marina, I would just go down the street right here. So, but I wanna show you guys what's going on over here on First Street. And like I said, this is Nikki Beach. 
And this is happening right now. See Nikki Beach guys? So just give you guys an idea of what's going on over here. Still happening. People are just hanging out. You guys wanna be on uh on YouTube? Come on, man. What's up? Where are you guys visiting from? California. California? Yeah. So let me ask you something, because you know Miami's in the news right now. Have you guys know that or no? Uh, First spring break? Yes, yeah. so, so you guys look like you're just chilling here. So what, what's your opinion of how your stay is so far? Is, is it as cool as what you thought it was? Uh, the street is insane. The street is insane. So when you're talking about what's insane, at what times? Uh, well, now since they shut it off at 8, it's 1 p.m. now, so within like an hour, there's going to be just tons of people all like fucked up in the street, running around. Like that's... So ha has, has it affected your perception of South Beach because of what happened at the time you came? Because this is not all the time. Is this a spring break thing? or is This is just a spring break thing, right? So, so think about it. There's... There's a lot of people that are been locked up for a long, long time. They haven't done nothing. You have the very first place in the nation that's somewhat open. People are acting like it's completely open and uh, everybody's just drinking, making a scene. So, and it's not everybody. It's just a small percentage of people that mess it up for people like yourselves. And that's what I'm doing my video about. Like we're, we are on spring break. Um, we've been like trying to avoid that street. But every time we see it like be problematic, well, listen, um, people are here because they know there's going to be people here and people want to be where there's people. Um, there's alternatives, though. I don't know. You guys are you're, you guys are hanging out at Nikki Beach, which is a cool place to chill. Um, have you guys gone to Brickell and stuff like that? That's completely cool, different. OK, Wynwood is nice, so nice area. So look, check out Brickell. There's other places that you can go to that are going to give you the guys the same type of vibe that doesn't have to be closed yeah. temporarily. So, and I want people to know that, that they have that option. I, I just literally came from a water taxi from Bayside right here. I just got it right here. So, so give your names out. What's your names? Uh, I'm Sam. Sam and Emily. Emily. So I guess you guys enjoy your drinks. Thank you. Man. Check, you guys, uh, check you guys out on, on YouTube. What? My, my, my channel's my name, Alfred Montaner, but if you type in Chitcho, that's my channel. Chitcho with a C, like Chit, C-H-I-T, show. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks, Take care. Thank you. All right, guys. So th there it is, the perspective. Um, so <laughs> how are you ladies doing? How are you? Good. What's up with Nikki Beach? You guys look like you're having the time of your life. Yeah, we're, we're from Minnesota and there's usually snow, so now we're here. What part of Minnesota? Um, Prior Lake. So if there's a COVID out, uh, uh, uptick, you know where it came from, right? Not here. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're so, being very safe. safe. We have very our masks. Good, good. So what do you think? I was just asking those people that were hanging out over there as well. What do they think about what's going on with the closures? Like, what, yeah. How do you feel about that? It was kind of scary. But we haven't really seen anything that's crazy. We've been inside. It's most likely need to go. If there's, yeah. there's a reason that there's, you know, the state of emergency, like if it needs to be shut at eight, yeah. there's a reason. It looks yeah. pretty bad, but over by us, there's not really anything going on. So you guys, you guys know you have other places that you can chill that's not on South Beach, you know, that you yeah. can go to Brickell, you can go to Wynwood, yeah. there's, you know, South Miami, there's, yeah. there's so many cool, Fort, here, so. Fort Lauderdale, yeah. there's a, a lot of places that you guys yeah. can go to, so. Yeah. So listen, uh, you guys want to give an IG out, an Instagram or something? Uh, sure. Go. Julian. Follow me, Ali Berrien. All right. Julian Herrera, 16. Julia, all uh, right. And Can these, t wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I don't, I don't, I don't want to not put you guys on camera. All right. So, all right. So, wh what's your Instagram? Malia Corelli. Um, we're here for my 23rd birthday. Oh, birthday. happy birthday, girl! Oh. <laughs> and your name? Nice. All right, well, and we got the last one here. Ali Gala, A L Y G O L L A. <laughs> hey, so are you guys going to come back to uh, Nikki Beach and hang out and do this again at some point? Maybe. Probably. We'll see. All right. We'll see.
Well, we want to see you back over here down in South Florida. Thank oh, you for visiting, all right? Thank you. Thank all right, guys, be safe. Take care. Hey, check out, che take out, check out the Chit Show, Alfred Montaner on YouTube. Okay, You'll see yourself on there. Oh, what is it called? Chit Show. Chit Show? Hi. I'm in class, Oh, you're in class? Wait. They don't want to see me. Oh, wait, no, that's so funny. The world, the world. What are you like on a Zoom call? Yeah. Uh, my Instagram is Luxury Rib Tenders. But wait, wait, check out my YouTube. Wait, wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. Luxury rib tenders? Rib tenders. That's rib my. Rib tenders? Rib tenders. Yum. You staring at my tenders? Rib no, no, no. All right, guys. Sorry, check out the chit show. You guys will see yourself on there. All right, guys. So, uh, so this is first. You see, this is Nikki Beach. And prior, this used to be called. What's up, guys? little tiki huts and stuff like that uh all right so this is what kind of is upsetting right so because of a certain few there's people that can't fulfill their entire experience here in, in spring break and guys it's not everybody man it's not everybody and many people have their faults and i'm not here to pick winners and true losers what i'm here to tell you guys is that because of this emergency order now, a lot of a lot of people are not going to be doing their their job, you know, temporarily, obviously, and that's unfortunate. But that that's one of the perspective views that I wanted to give you guys, because if you pick and choose what you want to show as as a creator or whatever, you can shape any narrative whichever way you want. So um, the reason I do things unedited and I have the huevos to go live and do it is because I think there's nothing more powerful than you guys seeing what's really going on. Um, and obviously that puts me at, at huge risk um, because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in real time. I, I, I have videos that you guys have seen that somebody is literally watching the stream and come down from their hotel and says, hey, what's up? I'm watching you right now. And they show me their phone and I'm live streaming, which is kind of crazy that technology has gotten us to that point. But uh, we're walking, guys. We're walking. We're probably now maybe around second or third street. And uh, we'll find out now exactly where we're at. So you guys get an idea of where we're at. So the, the, let me show you guys some of these rules here, over here guys. Um, six feet apart, no use of exercise, no pets on the beach, no floats, no tents or canopies, no fishing, no shared equipment activities, Groups of 10 or more are prohibited. No special events or group picnics, no coolers. Um, facial coverings must be worn or, or available or something like that. That's what I said. All right, so now, right now in, in the direction I'm walking is towards the street that eventually becomes Ocean Drive. So you have uh, some play areas for the kids. Look, like these, this area right here, people are oblivious in this area to what's going on on South Beach. got some restrooms here for those that want to uh, these restrooms are open now there's very good restaurants uh, along this area here guys I, I'm thinking right now damn I'm missing my I'm mixing my my water taxi it's all right guys it's fine 
it's fine. So yeah, look, um, my advice is this. If you come to Miami, and even if you're staying on the beach, by the time that you come, more than likely this is gonna be over. One, two, you can do other things. Miami's a big city. It's not just Miami Beach. You have North Miami Beach, you have Sunny Isles, you got Hollywood, you got Fort Lauderdale. There's so many cool places you can come, guys. And I got walking tours of all those areas so you guys can see them for yourselves. So that if you don't wanna have maybe an experience or you can't have a, you know, a night dinner on Ocean Drive, you can do it on Las Olas. You know, you can do it on uh, Hollywood Beach. You can do it on Fort Lauderdale Beach, you know. Obviously right now, as we speak, uh, right now there's, there's an uptick in COVID cases throughout Europe. The last I heard from the news, there's over 100 million Americans vaccinated. So that's a good thing. Here are the tents. Here are the tents for Ocean Drive. Remember, the Art Deco District starts on 5th. And right now, we are on 3rd Street. If you see where it says 320, it's 320 right now. That means it's 3rd Street, and 20 is the number of the building. So you got 326, that means we're on 3rd Street, 26 is the number of the building. All these are gonna be uh, even numbers. Everything on the opposite side is gonna be odd numbers. 335, you're on 3rd Street. If it's got a 1335, that means you're on 13th Street. All right? Wow, you guys are even learning how to use maps without, without depending on Google Maps, right? These computers nowadays have gotten us really, really dumb because we depend on them. I mean, I bet you right now you guys get in trouble because you don't know how to act. You go get arrested, you won't know who to call because you don't have a phone memorized because you ain't got your phone. And it's on a Friday night and then you're gonna have to wait until Monday or Tuesday. Then somebody's gonna be squaring up money to go ahead and say, hey, guess what? So-and-so got a felony because he was jumping on a car or doing whatever, who knows? There's been a lot of things going on, guys. Uh, there's real videos out there and uh, look at this car and it's, it's pointless look at this boy oh boy look at that very nice local houses in the backdrop More parking over here. Now I wonder with the whole closing off, the closing off of the, that would be interesting, with the closing off of MacArthur, you know, you probably won't be able to have an Uber pick you up somewhere if you're here um, and you're like for instance like with the way I am right now I'm, I'm I'm parked in Miami I'm parked over there in Bayside so but I want to bring you guys these adventures so you guys can uh, see that this is all possible and uh, I don't know maybe it's been about two hours of my time to show everything that I've just done you know and here it is guys fifth street now all right if we walk remember if you've seen the other video you'll know exactly what's going on here because i walked from the bridge right from the bridge i walked all the way over here walked 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 and then got here and came in to fifth street and ocean drive
We got the Fridays here. 114 in the afternoon. And uh, and I, I'm gonna end this video guys on the sign which I've been showing you guys that I've been telling you guys to take a picture in because that lets you guys know where I've been, how I've been, unedited over here. more restrooms over here and, and you guys have been watching my series you guys have seen all this going down we got CJ's over here we got some camera crews over here getting some footage of what's going on see over here see CJ's this place has been really really busy so one o'clock guys, 1.30. Um, I think, I think some people already kind of realized, hey, I don't want to be a part of this. You know, the reality start kicking in guys. 400 felonies, 1,000 arrests. Um, that's life changing stuff, man. You know, it sucks. South Beach Ocean Cafe, Majestic Hotel. They look like they're full. They've been pretty busy the whole time. All right, so 7th and Ocean Drive, guys, right here. You got some people selling some stuff there on the street. Now, typically, typically when things have been really, really chaotic, have been on the weekends. Because think about it, you get people that are flying in maybe on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, five days. You also have locals that want to come and, and experience, you know, the atmosphere of people just want to see people. People want to be around people. I and mean, think about it, guys, everybody's been locked down for a long, long time. Um, nobody knows exactly what's going to happen next because it's not like we've ever had a pandemic that we've lived through and know, hey, listen, after this, we're going to have this happen because of this. We don't know that. We're starting to deal with all those things now. So, it is new to a lot of people, so. Como esta, caballero? The boulevard. Here's the famous wet willies over here. And because of the emergency order, some of the companies and the uh, uh, restaurants that operate this area have just said that it doesn't, it's not worth it financially for them to stay open. Uh, and some of them regrettably have closed. So I guess the, the, I guess the fallout from that is that there's, there's gonna be people, people that are still gonna do things, you know? 
So hopefully everything is done and everybody just hangs out and has a good time while they're here in the, in the city. So it would be really unfortunate if this um, goes to Miami and becomes a problem in Miami as well. So like I said, it's something that should have been avoided and could be avoided. Chicho! Oh, I see you on YouTube. You do the, yeah. the vlog. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, Chicho. <laughs> yeah, guys. A lot of people are watching the Chicho on uh, on YouTube. Here's the workout park that they have here. If you guys haven't seen those, check out the other walking tours that I've done that show where you can work out when you're visiting here. Wardorf, Waldorf Towers over here. Hello. Here's the street vendor. We saw him the other day. Six bucks a t-shirt, guys. Six bucks. All right, if you're following me on Google Maps, we are on 9th, 9th and Ocean. 9th and Ocean, guys, right where the old mangoes used to be. Hi, ladies. We got some people over here also. Looks like they're leaving, um, that are visiting. And they have their luggage. And uh, coming up over here to the breakwater. And guys, we're almost getting to where I told you guys we were gonna stop. So. But this is it. This is South Beach. Um, like I said, don't, uh, don't let it discourage your trip. There's many, many other things you can do that are not, that don't have to be done just on South Beach. And I have a whole playlist on my channel to show you guys all the options and all the things that you can do that are not here if this is closed. So hopefully it's all sorted out. Hopefully the city of Miami Beach um gets everything settled and when it's all said and done people can go and have a good time again and guys be safe be responsible you know at a minimum at a minimum if you're not going to be cautious with your mask wearing at least at least give older people who you know are not vaccinated the benefit of doubt of not being around them okay so um the the pandemic is real the the virus really does affect people i know some people have different differences of opinion but the the facts are the facts. A lot of older people have passed away because of it. Um, and don't put yourself around those people and make them vulnerable. If you want to take the risk and not, you know, do what you got to do, then that's all you, you know? But just give everybody else around you who's vulnerable at least a shot. So Alfred Montanier over here on 10th. I'll leave it right here on, uh, on the sign, guys. The 23rd of March. And uh, that's it. I hope that gave you guys a good perspective of what's really going on. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Don't come out here and make a scene, man. You guys deserve better than that, you know? The last thing you want to do is come to Miami, get go home on probation that sucks so hey don't forget to like share and subscribe check out my playlist Alfred Montan are making a scene as always and uh, <laughs> don't be conspiracy theorists guys relax I'm out of here making a scene boom